guys, this is Abby from The Law Student. So it's been a long time since the last time na nag-upload ako ng video. And that's because, well, um, law school happened. It's been stressful. It's been crazy. Kaya napatigil yung pag-shoot and pag-edit ng videos ko. So why am I back? That's because um, I want to show you my very new fountain pens from Shopee. So I bought these. Not because it is required, like the first time that I bought um, fountain pen, a fountain pen in Shopee. But it's because I got curious. Kasi guys, sobrang mura ng mga fountain pens na ito. So without further ado, hindi ko na kayo delay ng maraming chit chat. Uh, let's get to the review. It's not any more unboxing, it's just my review so far. Okay guys, so this is what came with the package. Um, it came in a bubble envelope like this. And nagulat ako nung una kong nakita kasi tatlong pens yung bumulaga sa akin, no? So, um, originally, this is what I saw first in Shopee. And this costs um, 97 pesos only. And then medyo nangalikot pa ako, no? Um, then I saw this one for only 104 pesos. So, both pens came with cartridges. So, these... Um, were inside the pens originally, pero ngayon since natry ko na siya a few days ago pinalitan ko na siya nung mga tira kong cartridges from the first time that I got fountain pens if you can remember from my last video and so yun, um, uh, ito palang third pen na ito ay isang freebie so it came with um, a thank you card, this is the shop so ayan Siyempre, may instruction dyan, instruction dyan na uh, bigyan sila ng 5-star review, no? At hindi naman ako magdadamot dahil ang ganda ng uh, na-receive kong package. And guys, may freebie pa. So, yung freebie nila is a black gel pen. Standard yung kung ano yung makikita mong gel pen usually sa mga Chinese stores like Novo, uh, Unitop, or yung mga Easy Shop, ganyan. But it flows so well, ha? In fairness. So, ayun nga, um, the pens came with the cartridges. I removed that and pinatan ko na ng mga ink cartridges ko. So, let's try the first one. As you can see, hindi naman ako masyadong expert, ano, pero... Kitang-kita yung um, Chinese design niya with the pattern right here, also here, na bumababa din yung pattern. I mean, you can see the pattern even here sa clip. And it has a nice um, wood effect uh, na body. And it's very heavy, guys. I mean, bakal na bakal yung dating niya. So, dito, bakal siya hanggang dito sa may dulo. And this one is really heavy too. So, hindi ko alam ano kung talagang bakal tong gitna. Pero it, it is heavy. So, this first nib, or this first fountain pen, uh, actually, it came with a little damage. Because as you can see, there is a little leakage dun sa dulo. Kasi nung unang dumating siya sa akin, nakatabing eh. Pero medyo inayos ko naman, so... Uh, I think that solved the problem. Pero there is no major effect naman dun sa pagkatabingi nitong um, nib na to or nitong nasa likod na plastic part ng nib. Anyway, uh, let's try this. Uh, this has 1.0 millimeter na uh, tip. And what I love about this is it's so much better or it's so much bigger than my other fountain pens. Kasi yung mga nauna kong fountain pens are all uh, fine tip. So, nasa 0.5 lang ata siya. 0.5 millimeters. And what I hate about that is, nagsascratch kasi siya usually whenever napapabigat na yung kamay mo kapag matagal ka nang nagsusulat. So, ayoko kasi nun. Kasi um, medyo nangingilo ako dun sa feeling ng nagsascratch yung nib ng fountain pen sa paper. So, this is an ordinary um, uh, short bond paper and 
among all the bond papers or the papers that I have, ito yung pinakamaganda niyang um, sulatan kasi hindi siya masyadong absorbent. So, uh, let's try this. So, guys, ha, hindi ako marunong talaga mag-calligraphy. I use this for school. So, pagpasensyohan nyo na yung sulat ko. As you can see, maganda naman yung flow ng ink. Alright. Hindi naman siya yung numinipes na lang bigla. Mini. <laughs> There you go. Perfect siya para sa mga exams for my law student followers there or mga friends ko. Hello guys. Perfect siya sa exam kasi makapal siya just like what our professors want. Lalo na yung medyo may edad na. <laughs> Kasi mas gusto nila yung mga thicker na tip dahil mas nababasa. There you go. I'll try to show you a closer look later. Now, for now, let's move on to the second pen. So, this pen, nagustuhan ko siya because of this, actually. I don't know if you can see or it's obvious, but that's a dragon head. There are Chinese scribbles here. And uh, like the first one, it is metal. Pero this one is a lot, or not really a lot, but this is lighter than the other one. Mas mataba kasi tong una, guys, as you can see. Ayan. Mas mataba ito. So it has a frosted metal body. This is metal, for sure. And this is metal. Kasi ang lamig eh. <laughs> and mas mabigat yung cap nito than the first one. Ayan. So, like the first fountain pen, this also has um, point, a 1.0 millimeter na nib. I think this is plastic, this part right here. Also this one. But this is metal. Ayan. So, let's try it too. So, I think that the other one glides better, no? Pero hindi naman major yung pagka-difference niya. Pagka-different niya. Hindi naman major yung pagkakaiba nila. There you go. Yung pagbitaw dito, that's just because of uh, my hand. I think... This one is thicker. I mean, the flow of the ink is thicker than the second one. As you can see. Okay, I'll zoom you in, guys, para mas makita nyo kung paano magsulat itong mga fountain pens na to. Kasi I think it's not as obvious right here. Okay, so this is a closer look of the first pen. Uy, mag-zoom ka. Ay, mag-focus mag ka. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you are. Now, let's try the second pen. Mm-hmm. Kulang ata yung pagkaspel ko. Ah, definitely. The first one is thicker. It could be because of the damage it came with. Yung sabi kong tabingi. Pero it could be also na yung sa belt lang talaga ng mga nib nila. Alright, there you go. 
So, that's it guys para sa maikling review ko ng mga fountain pens na nabili ko from Shopee. And I hope nakatulong ito para sa mga naghahanap ng mga murang fountain pens, lalo na sa mga estudyante katulad ko. Guys, konting hanap lang sa Shopee or Lazada makakahanap tayo ng mura. As you can remember, nakaharap ako ng mga ink cartridges from Shopee na nasa 100 plus lang ata, 50 pieces na. And now, nakahanap ako 97 and 104 pesos. So, all in all, 200 something lang kasama na shipping fee. So, yun lang para ngayon. Um, I will be uploading a new video soon. Soon, kapag naisip ko na siyang gawin. Kasi, uh, medyo... Kaka-start lang kasi ng semester, so medyo nagtambak na naman ang gagawin. So, isisingit ko siya, promise, and it will help those who loves books. Yan, yun ang clue kung ano yung susunod na video. Anyway, yeah, uh, see you next time guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!